Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Comedian MTG. Today, I have some gameplay video for y'all today. Thank you to everybody who was patient in my time off. It was really awesome time to be able to recharge and get myself back in the groove of content. We've had a bunch of restructuring here on the channel. We've had some restructuring of things like the Patreon. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, go check that out. And you can check out the new tiers and the new different rewards that we have for the tiers in the Patreon, as that's been cleaned up a lot. I really appreciate everyone having such kind words while I took some time for myself. And I'm super glad to be back in the saddle. And I'm very glad to be making videos for everyone here. Today, I'm featuring gameplay from the CEDH Nexus Two Color League. Now, this is a really cool league in which players partner up with one other person. I'm personally partnering with Callahan from the Mind Sculptors, an awesome person in the community and a friend, and they will submit six decks for the course of this league, which runs for five weeks. Now, the decks have to be two color decks, so they can only be limited to two colors. It's a full CEDH league. The other limitations is that players cannot submit deck lists with the same commander. So, for example, if I had Malcolm and let's say a red partner, I couldn't submit a different list with Malcolm and a black partner. You can only have one commander for those lists and the lists have to be two colors. Apart from that, it's some really exciting gameplay. You get to collaborate with your teammate, which I may have some gameplay coming up in which you can actually hear the conversations between my teammate and I. And it's some really cool two color league gameplay. Today I'm playing a really spicy brew of Malcolm and Keskit, which is a list I was very excited about going into this league. And as you'll see in this game, it performed super, super well. Before we go to the gameplay, remember hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps out the channel a ton. And as I mentioned, we had a full restructuring over at Patreon. Patreon, so feel free to go check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash comedian MTG. Without any further ado, let's check out that game. Everyone, this is the beginning, the 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 second annual two color league. Okay, it is actually illegal that Comedian's team and Callahan's team is not running Lavinia as their Azorius commander. Uh I'm yeah, sorry. no, I was <laughs> uh I was also considering that to be crimes. <laughs> I Listen, I'm at the point where if Ian makes a uh, uh, an inclusion, I just kind of assume that it's probably going to be correct eventually. Um, you have too much faith in Ian. There's a Niv Misaprune in this deck, so like you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it, how many creatures is it running? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so it's not a poly deck. No. It's. I don't know what it is. It's something. <laughs> so he has a few like typical is it combos in this. I think yeah, he has the curiosity niv mizzet lines yeah. for some reason. That's a combo. He has uh of course he's gotta have your good old Ragavan for value with Kedis and Malcolm. That's kinda cute. Uh hey, looks only combat damage. Deke, that is a really good point. Niv's pretty easy to cast. When your Malcolm makes three treasures a turn, sure, that... but is he easy to find? Well, that is <laughs> also true. I mean, they're running drift of phantasms. I mean, that's like practically an is it staple these days for decks that win off three CMC stuff. Off Glenhorn, the tutor Horn. density and is it's just yeah. currently abysmal, and I don't think it's getting any better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I I would love a good two hand tutor from is it, but we'll we'll get there. Uh, all right, so we're underway. Tremolos, it looks like a windswept heath and a mox diamond. Fetching away the heath and casting a cannon. Not a bad classic. Opener. Uh, it looks like we're just waiting for the fetch to resolve and then we're moving to the next turn. Here we go. Like a command tower into. Uh, I assume that's a crypt. <laughs> a crypt, yeah. <laughs> right, it's a slightly weird proxy, but we'll mm -hmm. figure it out. Uh, and that's a turn one Malcolm, which is one of my favorite moles in CEDH. Uh, reading pool from Fonzie and a pass. Did Dexter oh. keep a three? Fonzie, though. Wow. Not even a dork? No, not even a dork. 
I think Dexter kept a three and still had land spectral hey, so sailor. I don't. Yurik was really fun because you almost like are incentivized to mull low. Like, because if you mull too high, if you have seven and you do a Yurika trigger without fast mana, you're gonna end up discarding something. So yeah. going to six is like actually logical. Going to three is just unfortunate. Ooh, a carpet of flowers. In an is it an other Kinnon pod? That's gonna be yeah. Yes. I feel like Trum. this carpet will be getting fed. I really hope he has some sort of like value piece because I know a big problem with Kinnon is that they have just issues with like winning. They have all the mana, but then you just end up just spinning Kinnon a bunch if you haven't mulled to like Ristic yeah. Studies or some sort of very good value piece. Looks like wow, we've landed uh, a Felwar stone and a carpet this turn. Pretty strong. Kinnon making mana. Mm -hmm. We'll see if they can turn it into anything, but like you were saying, it's sometimes easy for the the value train to be very appealing, but not actually having anything to do is common-ish. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like an exotic orchard from Comedian. And we're making decisions. Casting Kedis. There we go. I... Gotta get some mana. <laughs> We're gonna make mana, certainly. Uh, I mean, it's only, what, three treasures? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's, don't even worry about it. Oh, a curious obsession? Oh, <laughs> things have gotten... I'm sorry, is this the uh, Rograk staple? Rograk Silas staple curious obsession? I, uh, I got... Bonked by a Yuriko with a curious obsession on it just yesterday. Oh my god. The table seems to be in a small amount of panic over this curious obsession, which is funny. Uh Actually, curious obsession is only gonna trigger once. It's just gonna draw a card. It's not a yeah, deal. but then the mana that's one card, three mana seems yeah. pretty worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Beautifully mid rangey. He kept mana, he kept value. Yeah. He's in a very good place. But they have to deal with. Fonzie's got something, I feel. If it's not like. It's probably not like a really good thing, but he. If he only kept a breeding pool, shock pass. Yeah. Unless I... it's like a worldly tutor or something. I feel it's probably a mystical or worldly tutor. Still. <laughs> I think everyone's kind of off to the races here, but that Curious Obsession, it's like, it doesn't seem like a lot, but now Malcolm is a 3-3. Three, three. But no, yeah, when, you want to go for it here because uh, Dextro molds so low, and he's basically the main removal at this table that isn't bounce space. Yeah. The three treasures, three damage to each opponent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a good, good hand. Uh, it looks like the draw trigger is going to resolve. Should be a little better. Okay. He's like, I want a <laughs> Got his own cannon now. This seems like a fair game. <laughs> is a uh, that is a just a bonkers. Lance is just going to drop Niv Miz it next turn and still have like five mana open. <laughs> yeah. That is a, a bonkers opener. Holy moly. Drop rotation. Uh, Does this get. Do they have Homeward Path? Give me one second. Let me take looking, <laughs> yeah, that's, I have to look up deck lists here. There is a Homeward Path. <laughs> yeah, so is this just getting a Homeward Path? Oh. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. I think it is.
Nah, it's a high market bet. <laughs> yeah. He's going to sacrifice his skin and be like, nah. Not immediately activating it, so... Yeah, you gotta, like, wait, <laughs> logically. Yeah. So the well, thing is, does Ian want to use his treasure for something, or are they gonna wait till, like, end step to do it? Because that's right now that treasure is to something, which yeah. I don't know what sort of gas hand Ian has, but... We're already pretty good, so here's just a Gitaxian probe from Fonzie. Do we see nothing on end step? Nothing on end step. So he probably really did just keep interaction then, and he didn't deem anything dangerous, which makes sense. A curious obsession and a yeah. carpet of flowers isn't really worth countering. Well, I think countering carpet might pay dividends eventually, but... Uh... And already has, like, 50 ood, ood loads of mana. What's yeah. he gonna do with it? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, it's a revealed Gitaxian probe. A step through, a Ragavan. <laughs> hey, that's how you get a niv mezit. <laughs> oh, you're, uh... You're very, uh, bouncy. Very robot -y. Just wait one second. Try again. I haven't really seen step through, except in... Like Inala decks. <laughs> yeah, I I've seen Step Through. I've seen a few people playing Step Through. Uh, in like. Uh, Definitely not Niv. <laughs> I've seen it in one Yuriko list. Uh, yeah, not Niv. Uh, oh yeah, we did have a discussion about this card in Yuriko. I think it ended up with me being. I I I'm just convinced it's not good. <laughs> It's I don't a five like it. drop that gets Thassa's Oracle, I think, is its ceiling. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'd rather run good cards. I'm pardoned. Is that a... Oh, a... Uh, what is did a, this mean? It is a Sanctum Weaver. It is a Sanctum Weaver. I was like, is this Sithis? Wait, I was like, what, <laughs> what did this man's keep? Right. Sanctum Weaver. That's so interesting. Give me one second. Let me check this cannon list. Yeah, what's the enchantment density in that bad boy? Six enchantments, but the purpose of it is that this is also freed from the real Penin's Aura deck, so yeah. it makes sense a little bit. <laughs> I would rather run good cards. Also says Nimrus is the best deck in Glucose 2021. <laughs> I mean, uh, Nimrus is the best deck. He's an excellent card. A 1-6 for 5 mana. Like, it's amazing. Huge badonkadonk. Biggest badonkadonk. Blocks Krom, even though I don't run Adnos. <laughs> what better reason is there than blocking Krom? I've uh, just received confirmation in our secret chat uh, from Looter Scooter that says, The biggest badonkadonk, Nimrus. And it seems like Looter Scooter is in here and probably just unable to talk, so hello, Looter Scooters. You can talk now. <laughs> if Hi, she up? prefers. Hey, Looter. How are you, friendo? I'm doing quite lovely. Good what are your thoughts you on the game so far? <laughs> Uh, it's def definitely is a spicy one. I mean, I always love seeing Malcolm Dex because Malcolm's just a really fun commander. So I'm excited. Yeah, he's gonna re sculpt the kitten. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely that's gonna slow kitten down for like one turn. <laughs> if that, if that. Uh, all right. Uh, to any competitors watching, I have now made an official Judge Calls channel. Uh, for the 2C League. So you can go there and resolve your judge calls.
Even Oz gear is better, says Snusky, and that is where I'm gonna stop. Oh, you. oh, <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just wrong, sir. <laughs> okay, so last time we did this, we got into a little bit of trouble uh, talking about what decks were good and bad. Uh, he got Drake back because of Homeward Path. Mm hmm. This man's literally is just profiting. <laughs> so, uh, there was the Homeward Path activation and then the re sculpt on Kinnon because someone didn't want to die, which mm -hmm. makes sense. So, Ian still got his Gilded Drake. Like I said, Kinnon's just all mana, but then what do you do with it? <laughs> it's like mana and then? Question mark? Well, I think we recast a Kinnon here. <laughs> and then what? Just pass? <laughs> yeah, just just pass. That's why you gotta keep like the Mystic Ramaras, the Ristic Studies. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Cool. I need to fix this. I don't know what to do here. It's probably me and my internet. I'm sorry about that. Ah, it happens. It happens. Tremolo's trying to fix his camera focus. It did just get a little bad. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, no, does this sound better? Yes, it does. Okay, I think I realized what was the issue. It's one of my inputs. Oh. Okay, okay so we have a recast Kinnon into past. Yes, it looks like a recast Logical. Kinnon into past. <laughs> Eden just might combat these fools out. <laughs> it 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 could happen. So Lua Lua says, I feel like comedian is in a very commanding position. I agree. <laughs> yeah. He right. somehow has mana and card advantage and just also a three three and a four four just vibing. <laughs> I think I think that your um that your view of the situation is correct. Uh monkey. We're, this is definitely a dashed out monkey. Uh probably the swing at Bonzi or Tremolos and then Malcolm in the air. And then we're going to do some fun some fun Kettis stuff, I think. Yeah. Oh, Lord. He really wants to seize the, seize on the. That was indecipherable. Uh, <laughs> uh, try again. He really Life wants is a struggle. To, he really wants to seize on the what? So there's a Yurik at the table, and since he actually has just such a like commanding board state at this point, you want to think that he wants to start lowering their life totals, maybe sort of bait the Yurik into also killing them. Yeah. This is going to be a very Life Matters game. Uh, oh my god, he hit that card! Yeah, and five treasures because of the two Ragavan triggers. So that card is actually so interesting. I was looking at it earlier, and I was very curious of why they're running it. Uh, let's click on this bad boy. Drown in Dreams. Yes. Oh, it's, um... It's what you need. <laughs> it's like, uh... Uh... The card I'm thinking of. It's the templated the same way. Uh... It's a draw spell. It's the same. Yeah, no, that was actually so big for Ian. The man's has seven mana. Yeah. <laughs> We've got just seven mana, five of it colored pips, uh, and a huge amount of damage being put out on the table. It's wild. Would you cast Drown in Dreams here? Uh, I mean, it is not the worst use of the mana here. Does control a commander. 
Mm-hmm. Well, does uh, milling? Does he really care? <laughs> no, not really. But it's like an effect. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Let me think. I'd probably, depending on his hand, I'd probably put a little man into it. But I'd probably keep up like interaction and stuff as well. Well, it's the it's X and then two and then a blue. So the biggest X he could do is is uh is uh four here. Yes, it's not bad for sure. I know he has all of the advantage on the table. Yeah, amazing. Uh, seeming pretty one sided so far, but yeah, this deck came out a lot faster than I thought. For sure. Oof. LED jeweled lotus. Oof. <laughs> Okay. Crypt. Here's the step through for the wizard cycle. Is holding it... priority. Oh, yeah, are we cracking? <laughs> are we holding priority, cracking, and getting Niv? This is diabolical. <laughs> yeah, this is uh. The pieces are coming together a lot faster than I thought they would. This this was a great... Yep, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're cracking the LED. Did he just crack all his mana? Uh, it looks like... Yeah, that's true. He could He could mill himself with the breach. Oh, did he just do target player mills? Weird. I so I think he did cast the. Yeah, he cast the drown in dreams. Looks like X equals five. See, so he's also just getting nipped to hand casually. Looks like yeah, the drown in dreams on top of the wizard cycle. Wizard cycling, yeah. So dunking on one of the Kinnon players is pretty good. Uh, let me think. And then we grab a wizard? To cast Niv-Mizzet with two open treasures, but... Yeah, I, I, th I think... Uh... I, I think he'll get something to hand here, but I don't think he's going to... I don't think he kept up mana to cast anything. Seems like Danger Town indeed, Zeke. Seems like Danger Town indeed. Just, uh, let's... I'm going to take one little trip over to the matchups channel and see if we have any results yet. Seems like no. Okay, that's good. Thing somewhere. Is it? This? All right. So we have. Moved. We're just gonna cast a cannon. Then for a green ring leaf drum. So Fonzie sequenced a little weirdly there, I think. But, uh I guess either way they leave themselves with uh two men available. And we go to Dextro's.
Things are not looking up. <laughs> no, uh, things are, uh, is everything being good? The board states are wild. Nothing is better. Uh, Glucose, if you need to bounce out, that's totally fine. Oh, I just don't know if my internet might cut out. Yeah. So I might just start disappearing. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. At this point, I would just, I don't know if that cover of darkness was smart. I i would literally just politic my way into being like, let this year go through. We have to deal with Ian. I don't, I don't think that cover of darkness was necessary. I, I think at some point they just have to start working with each other Ooh. to. Uh... That's a big hit that he probably doesn't want to see. Oh, boy. Yeah, now they're all like kind of close to combat death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a that is a that is a fat 10 11 points of damage. Yeah. That, that you <laughs> that's basically useless. <laughs> yeah. Lua Lua, could he have wizard cycled and played Niv instead of drawing 5? Yep. For sure. Yeah. He would have had two treasures open, but hellbent. So I think he wanted to go for uh, things in his hand instead. Hopeful free interaction. And yeah. then, plus, he had the step through anyway, and he, I think he'll be fine to cast Niv in <laughs> main phase two here. So. So here's another land out of uh, Tremolos. Is this just a void? <laughs> it's a void winner. Okay. Uh, that's a lot. That's huh. That's a lot. <laughs> what are we at? Uh. Oh, here's a, there's your free interaction. Yeah, there's a force of will that we drew into. That's not bad. Uh, looks like we might have a... Someone is thinking about protecting the Void Winnower? I don't know if you do that. Well, looks like the other game is over. Oh, do we have a result? Yeah. Awesome. Casual turn to Dockside into DC on Twin Flame. Oh, <laughs> you love to see it. Who ended up winning? Team we like to win in combat, I believe. Team we like to win in combat, not winning in... Well, I guess technically winning in combat. Yeah, okay. That is a combat win. It counts. Hmm. Are they debating whether to let this resolve? It seems or... like that's what's happening. That's so interesting. Where are we at the point of the game where we want a cannon to have a Void Winnower out? <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, we live in bonkers, crazy land here, so. Um, yes, it is indeed blocked by the overlay. Timmy T one thousand Boudet Brews, thank you for the three hundred bits. I appreciate you so much. There's some serious table talking here. What would you do, Scotty? Would you try to interact at this point if you were with one of the bottom two players? So here's the issue that I'm having is mm -hmm. uh, I feel like Void Winner cuts off most of the Primo removal spells that people would have access to. Uh, and for that reason, I don't know if I would very much like to have the Void Winner here. They desperate. They do desperately need to stop Ian. Like I think this game is over if they don't find some way to 
to to handcuff Ian here to slow him down, but like at the same mm-hmm. time, I feel like Void Winner cuts off you know Cyclonic Rift delay. Uh, That's not basically dream. all Hiroko's win concept out of combat. Yeah. yeah. Well, so Ian has cast the Force of Will targeting the Void Winner. Okay, right it looks like it resolved. It looks like it's going to resolve, and we pitched a delay to it, so. Mm-hmm. Are we going to see Nippy Boy? <laughs> Almost don't need it. Yeah, their life totals are now really low that even just a naked Niv just constantly pinging. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Because what we needed was more mana, you know? Like, <laughs> Soul Ring, that's crazy. He and, oh. Dashing Ragavan back out. Classic. This is... This looking... is bullying. <laughs> yeah, this is not looking very positive uh, for anyone not named Comedian MTG. <laughs> Actually, bullying. <laughs> I mean, we're doing we're great here. And uh, how are you? How are you, sir? Good to hear from you. Well, I'm sad we missed that second pod, though. It's it was Prosper two chatter fangs and a tigum. Wow, another <laughs> another lovely wild pod. That's all right. It looks like oh. swings are happening. Ragavan and Malcolm stuff. Drake in the air, a four four elemental, disgusting. <laughs> Combat win here. He's probably setting a decent amount at Dexter, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. You almost kind of have to put a lot of pressure on Dexter here. You you don't want to uh, you don't want to have it come up with a like a Seagate restoration off the top and a Blink Moth Nexus. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Then Ian dies to his crypt. That that would be pure poetry. <laughs> that would be. Karmic justice. No, he is. <laughs> he's just bullying pretty hard right now. Uh, wait, so it looks like uh, Malcolm and the monkey have made contact. We'll make five treasures. Draw a card and exile a Chrome Mox off the top of Fonzie's library. Uh, swinging that Ragavan into Fonzie is just mean. All he has is the Kinnon and the Sanctum Weaver. It's rough. Yeah. I mean, Ian's probably just trying to figure out what way to finish people here. I feel like dropping the Niv is kind of disgusting here, and uh, among other things.
sorry about that. We had some electrical people doing stuff. So where are we? No worries. Uh, we're still in Ian's turn. Which point? Are we post-combat? Uh, we are post-combat. Five oh, treasures were generated. <laughs> a chrome mox was exiled off of Ragavan. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, I think we're taking a trip to Niv Town. Yep, smells like Niv. Oh, one, two. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, someone unsub that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give Mizzet Park. Where is your whole break, whole breaker horror when you need it? <laughs> there you go. Right. It's time for that whole breaker horror. Yeah, that thing's really strong. We love a new tight spot tyrant. <laughs> We love a better tight spot tyrant. We love power crept tight spot tyrant around these parts. <laughs> oh, that's a curiosity. And curiosity. Oh my goodness. Here's the response <laughs> from Fonzie. Yeah, Fonzie's like, no, 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 no. Fonzie, <laughs> yeah. Niv trigger. Trigger Niv. <laughs> this is the worst part about Niv. Go ahead. Try and remove anything. Try and stop the wind. Well, it depends if he has, like, does he have any interaction in his hand? We already saw the force of will. We saw a force. I mean, it had to be, like, exactly Fierce Guardianship, I think. Okay, another thing about in this situation where Swan Song is rough, like, that other two <laughs> Yeah, now that you've, uh, you've given another, another flyer to the person who's oh, already... He... This is so painful. <laughs> This is this is rough to watch. Is it though? <laughs> well, is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit myself. I didn't see that. But yeah. Yeah, I do admit, seeing this deck winning is like pretty happy for me. I thought like I my money was with like you know one of the Kennens or the Yurikos, but good old Kenneth Malcolm getting there. Uh, <laughs> like I said, sometimes. Sometimes I trust Ian. I, uh, I think a man full of great ideas has received another bird. Uh, and gosh, what a scary board state. Uh, are we, I mean, at the table, what are you you're hoping for? Rift from one of the Kinnons or maybe Deluge out of Yuriko? If Yuriko's I don't think Yuriko Deluge, runs Deluge. Yeah. Fonzie looking at the cards. Build. Transmute artifact. Wow. We're all trying to make decisions now. Everybody, thanks for hanging out. Uh, it's the first stream of the year. Uh, I might uh, try to get a little bit of game chat for the for the next game, which should start in roughly an hour, depending on how long this game this game takes. Fiora Woohoohoo. That's a, is that how you pronounce that? Fiora Woohoohoo. Hello. Greetings. Thanks for watching. Anemone87. Thank you. Fritz is okay. Alright. Let's just drop Pemonzora. Win? There you go. I mean, realistically, right? Drop Pemonzora. Win. They're from the real anything. <laughs> He's just been low rolling it the entire time. Definitely the case. Lua, you're probably right. 
uh, that's a good point. The discussion on the Void Winner Winner might have been that no one had a way to stop the Niv from being cast, except for you know Void Winner. But then you have to deal with the Void Winner. One of those things that makes really really problematic uh, gameplay situations. Not that that's, I mean, problematic. I guess is probably not the word for it. But difficult difficult gameplay situations is yet to make hard decisions. Hard decisions yeah. on a timer are extra what hard are, decisions. Like, I would just drop my uh, curiosity probably on Malcolm and draw four cards. Gross. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty barfy. Yes, double Kinnon in this pod. Uh, everything is... Um, the teams make their decisions on what decks they're going to play, and... And they all reveal at the same time. So pod composition can be a little spooky. But uh... this is like a pretty balanced pod just looking at commanders. You have a bunch of two color commanders with blue in them. Yeah. There's been a good amount of interaction. Yuriko going down to three is like very large. You want like a heavy fat hand with Yuriko of yeah. interaction. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The Mulva three is probably extremely rough for Dextro. But. It happens. Uh, we're making four mana of some kind here. Uh, is this just plopping down the Pemanzora? Uh, Winota has appeared in zero games so far, but this is the first game of the season. So, I'm sure we'll see a Winota. Notably, uh, three of the Winotas in this tournament uh, presented illegal decks. <laughs> because they included uh, one of the new cards from Innistrad Crimson Vow, which is not legal for the course of this tournament. Uh, mm -hmm. And so they now are the owners of one more shiny basic mountain. <laughs> Total of six mana being produced for a dramatic reversal? Niv trigger. Niv trigger. The new the new cards from Crimson Vow are not are not legal for the course of this tournament. No, only cards that have already received a physical printing were legal for this tournament. Mm -hmm. RJM three four three, thank you for the follow. Is Six this mana. Just an overloaded Cyclonic rip. After the that Tiger will be pretty good. Or a hard, ca ooh, a hard cast tide spout tyrant. They're not running tide spout tyrant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sadly, their biggest thing is sphinx. Yeah, but let's see. I'm curious. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Curious. Uh. Yeah, no, none of the new two color commanders uh, for this league, but uh, they do all look very interesting. Grawlnock, the the frog boy, very <laughs> cool. Uh, I like. I'm more interested in the Rut Man. <laughs> the what? The Rut Man. Oh old yes. Old Rutstein. Old Rutstein. Yes. All of the equation. Ooh, a very good. Years. Actually, that card is like really, really. I really like that card in two color decks. That Solve card's been pretty gas. I really like solve the equation. I've been playing it in Jaleva recently, and I've I've okay. liked I've liked it there too. Uh, Chimichi one thousand budget Bruce. Thank you for the funny sex number of bits. Appreciate it. So, what do you solve for here, Joe? Thank you for the same amount of bits. Nice. <laughs> Uh, nice. Now we are casting a solve the equation. Is it just like I don't know what it is? It's uh you wouldn't have enough for like psychonic rift. The Kinnon got removed with the solve on the stack. Asking well, Ian how many double cards ping, has... double ping from Niv will do yeah. that. <laughs> Niv Mizzet pretty strong into this pod. Not even commander, just yeah, hard no, cast. Just, 99 Niv Mizzet. Just hidden commander Niv Mizzet. 
uh, pretty, pretty strong. Are there any actual Niv Mezzet commanders? I haven't checked. I think there's at least one person running Niv. But... Nice. Shout out to uh, Killstar's team for not running Winota and instead doing Livio Jessica. Yeah, Thank I, you. Li I like that. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, yes, uh, this is what I wanted. Fozen238, thank you for the funny sex number of bits. Oh my god. Uh, nice. What do you get here? Yeah, I'm cur I'm curious myself. It looks like he's getting windfall? Um, trying to reload? Is that do good? You... Don't do no. that. Wait a do second, Fonzie, what are you <laughs> doing? You wish to perish. Well, this is how tournament <laughs> rules work. It's competitive Arielis. Put the put the card on the table. Not allowed to go back. Is this two at a giant? Did I just is... blink? <laughs> I um I hold on a second and then try again. You can have a little bouncy. Hard to believe that's the correct choice unless Yurika literally has removal right now for no visit. Did he like, just put it straight in his graveyard? What happened there? It's resolving. It's resolving? Did he cast a windfall? Yes. Oh my. Well, this game is over. One, two, there's three. A, there's a Kedis out, right? Five. Yeah, this is only commander. Six. Oh, it's only commanders. Seven. Oh, jeez. No, I know. I was like, okay, so we're resolving the windfall, and then there are seven Niv triggers to go on the stack. Yeah. I I find it very hard to believe that that was the correct thing to tutor for, like. Yeah, so kill the other Kennen, uh, maybe kill the Yuriko. <laughs> I just go start going for those faces. Oh my god, that. Come on, Nib. Pop into my card reader. I am in shock. <laughs> Draw card. Yeah. Yeah. Seven pings. Wiping the board. Oof. Oof. Oh. Oof. He said you can't even have that Phyrexian Walker. Yeah. He wants no Yuriko trigger unless he has Ginger Brute. <laughs> Woof. Was this what you wanted, Fonzie? <laughs> I don't know if he was... Paying attention. Well, there's I I assume that since the tutor was going on, there is some table talk going on for sure. Yeah. It was. I'm kidding. But that was. We'll see. Fonzie is talking, probably trying to decide what the rest of the turn is. It's two mana. Land drop three mana. Fire, it, it doesn't give him 14 cards. There's no, like, curiosity or anything. It just gives him seven triggers uh, to do damage. When you draw a card, you deal damage. The The draw card triggers only when uh, an opponent casts an instant. Or whenever a player, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, the true travesty of this tournament, though, is uh, I don't think there's an Oaken Zinder split. So, no, I don't think there was. Yeah, I so... am literally enraged. <laughs> Best is it, commanders? Come on, my eyeball king and queen. I totally understand. There is. Kolkyo says there is an Ocon Zender split. Oh, okay. Then. Hell yeah. Might need to look at the... Now rooting for that team. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a half billion decks to look through, though, so it's... 
96, 96 decks, 16 teams, 6 decks apiece. Yep. Yeah. How do you all feel about purposely king-making? It is against the rules of this tournament. <laughs> uh, it's also, I wonder why that was brought up. <laughs> it's also not something that we like. It is not good. Yeah, that's the general... The general opinion of the the organizer of this tournament is that intentional so, king making is not good. I think in the end, the idea here is that since Niv is quote unquote tapped out, hopefully with Trem and Dextro untapping with seven cards in hand, they're gonna deal with it somehow. Like that's one. That's the like one of the lines I see. Not the worst line of thinking, but it's gonna be painful, <laughs> as you already saw with the board wipe. <laughs> uh, two me two one thousand budget bruise the. Deck list doc? I just posted it again in the chat. They're all publicly available. Teams have access to them at all times, even during games. We can't stop mm -hmm. them from doing it, so it's just easier to let them. What do we have? We have a judge. Ah, we have Squirrel Mob in the admin chat saying there is an Oaken Zender split. Team I Monochrome saw. brought it. Of course they would. I love them. Three people <laughs> playing Niv Harun as well. But like as a commander. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so you have a land and a Mox Diamond out of Dextro. A windfall. Oof. All right, what is this? We're casting... Illidrake? That would be so, so clutch. He's not windmill slamming it, so it doesn't seem to be Gilded Drake. Phantasmal. Gilded Drake. Drake. Yeah, this could become a Gilded Drake. Let's see if he has a free ping. Yeah. All he needs is like any free spell to just ping that thing down. Oh, I think oh, it just what? ETB'd as a Niv. Wait. Did it just ETB as a Niv? Oh. Lycos, a, a tournament competitor, says if I knew that people would be casting windfalls like this, I would have brought Niv. I, it, sorry, I'm still processing what that. I think that Fimage entered as a Niv. Or maybe a, a Malcolm? I don't. I don't know. What on God's green earth? Bye, Fiora Woohoo Hoo, aka Fritz. Thank you so much. Have a have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Did it Did it enter as a as a Niv? What Okay, but then comedian draws the card and kills it. Yeah, I that's what I'm saying. What in the world? Deke in the chat reing. Well, now that's a cute card. I like that. It's Con windmill slam the constinx. Yeah. Dextro. Oh, looter scooter, you're the best. At Dextro, for commentary, what did the Fimage enter as? For asking. We get a response. Let's... 
see some triggers. Evie boy. Entered as a bloom tender, says Fozen. I don't know if that's your upkeep. It looks like. Uh, what is that? Is it a the clonic rift? The it's Klonic the rift? pretty one. Chuck oh, Lucas hitting the hitting Lukox. the con sphinx. Naturally, Niv trigger. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a bloom tender. I. No, I don't know that it's a bloom tender. I, I, I think it would be beyond wild <laughs> for it to be a bloom tender. Like there, <laughs> there are wild situations, and that is the the wildest of them. You say that? No, no, that's Kettis, my dude. <laughs> oh, we're having some draws going on. Yeah, it was a niv. Oh lord. Not for long. <laughs> yeah, it's gone now. A veil. Ooh, a veil. Trying to protect Bigger that Bigger Clon Sphinx. Bigger Niv. Yep, he's responding to his own Niv trigger. Makes sense. Yeah. Trigger Niv, though. <laughs> yeah. Misstepping the veil. Gregory Niv drawing a card. Trigger con sphinx. Yep, two pings. Yep. Well, one ping, sorry. Yeah. Yep, there goes the bloom tender. That was totally going to survive. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Definitely going to wheel the table. A 1 1. A force. Force a well. Pitching something in his gigantic ass hand. Yeah. Triggering Niv. Mystical, t mystical tutor. Weird. Must not have blue open. Uh, I think he has ten cards in his hand, indeed. and I think that's a that's a misty right there. Yeah. So unless he, you know, I think he's fetched all of his blue. No, he's no, he still has islands. This is a, this is an attain effect. Deck. A deflecting SWAT. Holy moly! Trigger niv. Trigger constant. Yeah, we have a niv trigger on the stack. Trigger con sphinx. Yeah, we're putting very cool putting nib triggers into the into the stack. Yeah, I mean so eventually you just you just start shooting tremolos, right? I think Kalua Luka yep. in the chat is correct. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Eventually, you just start shooting Tremolos. Uh, Tremolos trying to decide which of his many free interactions he will use from his massive hand. Passing on the deflecting swat. If I was Trem, what's he, what's he deflecting? Uh, See, the force, I believe. The force will to the... Yeah, changing the, <laughs> to the force to the veil, probably. Yeah, <laughs> we love it. Trigger, trigger. Yep, yep. Resolving triggers. Okay, I know Trem is afraid of Gilded Ricks, but I think I probably would have used that homeward path. After Con Sphinx mana. Yeah. Just to have more pips open. Has been experience here at what <laughs> is likely the end of this game. Yep, there's the ping to Trem's face. At yep. this point, oh, yeah. Oh, no, that was off the fetch. Oh, that's off the fetch, okay. Now here's a song, song, and you just start shooting Trem. Well, even then, Malcolm's going to deal, what, three damage? So you have to get him just, you just have to give him four pings, basically. Yeah, you just start, I think, if you're Ian, you just start shooting Trem here, but. Uh... Does, does Ian have lethal on board? Uh, I... Close, I think. Uh, Elemental mm -hmm. and the Drake. Oh, 
or just Niv and the bird kill Fonzie. Oh, Kedis is dead. Kedis I didn't is, see that. Oh, Kedis, Kedis must have died in the uh, exchange here. Mm -hmm. The ping uh, wars. Yeah. I Niv and the bird kill kill Fonzie, or you kill. Yeah. Looks like Vale is countered. Then we're back to Cyclonic Rift. Which I trigger. Wait, yeah, and here's the Con Sphinx. Now we're back to Psych Rift. Yeah. <laughs> Con Sphinx returns yep. to hand. And uh, we are probably at the end of the game here. <laughs> Looks like Trem has a 2 2 bird. Mana Crypt roll. Looks to have won. Drawing for turn. Nip Just trigger. pinging Trim in the <laughs> face. Yep. Yep. Untap it. Ian will make it. eventually. Unless someone twiddled the Malcolm, you can never tell. Exile, Simeon Spirit Guide. Simeon. <laughs> what are you going for here? Mance is about to drop a uh, Zinder split. Red flame. Ooh. Ooh, storm turn. Okay. Trigger Niv. <laughs> Trigger Niv. Ping oh, trend. Very likely. I think Ian's trying to figure it out. How big is Divisit? He's a 5-5? Five five? Okay, I'm trying to think like the most efficient way he can kill the table off. Yeah. Draw the ping to Trem's face. Mana in the pool. The stack of a hand. There you go. <laughs> Finally noticed that Malcolm tapped. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're taking a second to thonk. Mm -hmm. He's like, how do, do I want to kill everybody? In what stylish way should everyone be killed? It's like I have a glint horn. Oh. Ian was disconnected. All right. So we'll see how fast that judge call comes for the timer. Oh, here he's back. Easy peasy. For anyone who's wondering, the uh, the judge call, uh, the the timer is is uh thirty seconds. Oh, okay. It's it's thirty seconds. You get thirty seconds to to re enter. It takes you longer than thirty seconds to re enter. You have to shuffle your hand into your library. That'd be a very unfortunate way for Ian to lose. Yeah, that would be a real stinker. Never a good sign when the Niv miss it player busts out, busts out mana. mana counters. <laughs> yeah, that cards. Yeah, I was like, yeah. uh, yeah, for sure. Adding some blue to the pool, using a generic. Merchant oh. scroll, Oof. trigger Niv. Yep. 
I'm curious why they had Merchant Scroll in this deck. Uh, it triggers Niv, I guess. <laughs> I mean, okay, but like, what, what what do you get with this? Windfall. No, blue instant, right? Uh, yeah. Nexus? They don't have Nexus. Oh, huge mistake. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I, I mean, it could be for Brain Freeze, but I don't know. But he's probably going to find value. Oh, he has Dig Through Time in this deck, and he has Factor Fiction in this deck. So I'm kind of curious which yeah. one he's going to get. Dig, uh, brainstorm Dig would be bad. really hot. Jamaican dude. Hey, bud. This, is, this isn't this is even a Niv commander. This is, Mal <laughs> this is Malcolm Kettis with Niv in the 99. Yep, this is a 99 Niv. <laughs> Niv doing Niv stuff. Yeah, they're not on Isochron, which makes sense because it's not a Niv deck. But... Uh, I don't know why they run Merchant Scroll. That's it, curious. Intuition would probably be weird here, just because I don't. They don't have intuition in the deck. Yeah. <laughs> so was, yeah, intuition would be weird in Is it? I think most of the time. I don't know. Yeah. No, you're right. It's weird. <laughs> I we me and Sinestra have discussed running it in center split oaken just because you need the tutor density it basically just adds three extra snorked in says a pirate set. hack that would i don't i don't think ian is playing like arcane adaptation or anything so. <laughs> just getting a fierce guardianship just keeping it sweet and easy niv versus double kinnon goodbye kinnon uh yeah i mean that was that's kind of happened, yeah. Yep, with the windfall. Yeah, with the with the <laughs> with the windfall that happened into the online niv and wiped the board yeah, that, for sure. That the kid casted that yeah. the windfall that they tutored for that they cast. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I some might egg, be spazzing a little bit. Egg on some faces. It happens. Uh, what are we casting? I mean, there was a decent fight though. Kedis. Let me calculate. Kills Trem. All he has to do is send Niv at Fonzie. The rest can go at Dex. Well, Niv's we a went through combat at the moment, so. Yeah, so all I have to do is send Niv at Fonzie. Malcolm oh, basically also. Oh, because the Malcolm, the Kedis trigger. Yeah. Yep. Yes, the Windfall was cast into a Niv. That is correct. No, 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 no. The Windfall was tutored for and, and then, then cast. cast. Okay, the all right, all right. Let's not shame okay, no, too no, no, hard. No, no. Let's Sorry, not... the thing is also, it was the... Uh... Oh, wait, oh, so it's funny here also because Div Miss is going to trigger off the Curious Obsession draw. That is correct, yeah. <laughs> That's an extra ping of damage. Yeah, I think Ian's doing his combat math calculations. You can tell he's truly a Winota player at heart. Big, <laughs> big swingies, let's go. All right, so uh, yeah, it looks like attackers have been assigned. Maybe Dextro is afraid to get a Gilded Drake because there is a Homeward Path on the table. That could be one possible reasoning I'm thinking behind not damaging a Gilded Drake. Uh, I... It sounds like just not remembering. Oh, there's, a, there's the card himself! Submerge, we Submerge. Were about Trigger Niv. <laughs> we have the Fierce Guardianship. We tutored for it. Trigger Niv. Oh, he's pinging Fonzie? Like he's just shooting Fonzie to make it lethal? Oh yeah, I don't, well, I don't know how combat was declared, so we'll see. A miscast. Trigger Niv. Where's that ping going? Fonzie's face. I feel like... Dextro, three cards in hand. Ian trying to figure out how hard to fight here. I feel like... Wasn't there a better spot for these spells to be cast somewhere? Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, if he had submerged this entire time... Buster Storm trigger Oof. the Niv Boy. 
I think I want to try to submerge probably when I had my own nib out still. Yeah. Oh, Dextro's still fighting. And we're still triggering Niv. <laughs> A fluster. His own back fluster. Niv. Three Niv triggers still to resolve. Looks like we're resolving one. Two, two Niv triggers left to resolve. Yeah, see, this is why I think the Woodfall wasn't the worst, because it, they did honestly put up a really good fight with the Con Sphinx and the refilling of the Hands of Counter spells. Yeah. Think... It's just so painful when they're this low because of Yuriko's flips. <laughs> Ian probably trying to sweet-talk the table into just dying, which is a thing. It's like, I'm done guys? with this game. Hey, please could you die. guys please just die? <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if you just gave up? Uh, the counter war is over a submerge, I think, targeting uh, Niv Mizzet. I think so. It's the most damage. Alright, so the fluster counters the fluster. And then we go to the Niv trigger. Uh, yes, during combat with attackers declared. Frozen, you absolutely should not pub stomp your LGS in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. Miscast counters fierce. Miscast counters fierce. Submerge on the stack. One Niv trigger to resolve. I... Okay. One trigger quick question. Yeah. So Ian's tapped out now, right? Because he spent a lot of his mana. Uh huh. Some of it to cast Caddis again. Yes. When he has a Jeweled Lotus. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I was like, wait a second. But I think it was mostly floating anyways, so I think it was fine, but... <laughs> and now the Niv is bounced. Or it's to the top of the library, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and then attacks. Do attacks go off? Yeah, Malcolm will trigger. Remolos will just die. He fought hard with the Con Sphinx. I respect it. Extra to one? Oof. Tremolos dies, Fonzie dies, Dextro to one. Uh, shuts off two of his lands. I mean, Ian is running Lightning Bolt. Come yeah, on, Yeah, can we just have the... Lightning Bolt. I would, I would like almost scream if he showed me a Lightning Bolt right now. Can we have the the Bolt? Just the 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 Providence Bolt. Let's go. Or are you just gonna get the good old console Oracle on De on Dexter? <laughs> uh, that would also make me scream. <laughs> I would cry. There would be big tears. Oh, I'd love it. You're playing Demir for a reason. You gotta get those sneaky, sneaky console wins in. Can't, I don't. Yeah, I mean, it has to be exactly console though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It Let's hear the land be, drop. Yeah, it can't be Tain Impact. All right, what are we, oh. we're casting a Chrome Mox. We had it. We anyway. have mana. Yeah. <laughs> uh, exiling a Ristic Study. <laughs> Ian's like, I don't need this. I don't need this. <laughs> Where we're going, we're casting Niv again. We don't need a spell seeker. <gasps> lightning For the bolt! Lightning bolt! <laughs> are we doing it? Let's go! Let's go! Come on, Ian! Come on, Ian! Come on, Ian! Let's Please. go! There it is! He did find the lightning bolt! Hey. Oh my god. No! A counter! What is that? Is that That's misdirection? a misdirection. Pitching swan song. <laughs> like I said before, Dextro, I feel like there was a better 
point in the game to fight with like these 30 interaction spells. Get the Malk. Yeah. Dextra has no cards in hand. He, like, he literally had the perfect hand of interaction. It was why, beautiful. I mean, why do you even... Mr. What are you going to hit off the top of your library? Okay. Whatever. He has to fight, Scotty. It's, oh. for, it's for his honor. He doesn't have to. He could hit, no, Crippling, I don't think he's running Crippling Fear. No. Even then, he'd still die to the... Was he just playing for his Ginger Brute out? Yeah, Ginger Brute out into Ink Moth, Blink Moth next. Yeah, except he can't even Ninjutsu in Yuriko. Never mind, because he can't fetch. Yeah, it's a land. Can't activate City of Brass. LJ's here. What's up, LJ? How are you, bud? You missed you. Come on, just turn your board sideways. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, he's he's doing a, force he had a force of will. <laughs> oh my god. Dextro, crack your face. Yuriko fights hard. Yuriko, Yuriko fights yeah, hard. That was a really, like, that really was insane good at the end. I was like very nice. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me for that two color league gameplay. Big shout out to Scoots from the CEDH Nexus who allowed me to use the raw footage from the stream for this video here today. Thank you to the league for allowing me to use the footage and the gameplay, and it was a super fun game, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm super glad that Malcolm got to pop off like that. It was such a fun game, and it's a really fun deck that I've been enjoying playing. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Have an amazing week. See you guys soon. Peace.